I'm gonna start in English so we can I'm gonna all of this video later on so we all can share so welcome Karen again we're ready to go why don't you start just getting on your mats easy seated position let's start practice guys Thank you again for joining today. As I always say, this is your practice. You know better where you are at now in this moment. Go through your practice as you need. My intention is just sharing with you my practice this, this beautiful day. Take a moment to settle into your body. Start noticing your sit bones grounded, lengthen through your spine, soften your shoulders. Close your eyes. And start bringing fully attention to your breath. Noticing your inhales and exhales in and out through your nose. Easy, natural breath. You allow yourself to close your eyes. You become more present. Always listening to your body when I say this or when you hear another teacher say this, just getting into your body and really noticing how your body is feeling in this moment. What are you able to do that feels right? This practice that feels right in your body, yes, maybe sometimes you feel a little bit uncomfortable and that's all right. That's okay. Really noticing and honoring whatever you go through in this moment. Starting to make your inhales and exhales the same length. Breathe it in and out through your nose. Taking a couple seconds to inhale and a couple seconds to exhale. If you practice before, if you practice with your Ujjayi breath, your Ujjayi Pranayama, start doing that. Constrict and slide the back of your throat a little bit. So on your exhales, you start feeling a deeper sensation. It's a louder breath that you can hear, which also helps you to stay connected to yourself on your practice through that breath. Whatever you do today, whatever you feel in this moment, take a nice inhale and rise your arms all the way up. Place your palms together. Exhale, arms by your side. Release. Connecting with your breath, inhale, rise your arms up. We do my yoga. Exhale, bring your arms by your side. Lengthen in a little bit more, soft in the shoulders, rise up. Exhale, release your arms by your side. Inhale, reach up, grab the left wrist with the right hand, stay grounded through your seat bones, take a side body stretch. Look towards the left elbow. Inhale, come back to center, nice deep inhale, grab the other wrist and side bend to the left. Yes, in a beautiful day today. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, side and other side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bend. Have a little movement of your spine. 
Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, slowly release your hands, arms by your side. Slowly start coming to your knees and hands, finding your tabletop position. That means your wrist under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Now spread your fingers out. Find some evenly weight on your hand. Don't put everything in the edge of your wrist. Shift your weight for a little bit towards your fingertips. Grab your mat, extend your arms. Keep your spine long and lengthen, and now start pressing your belly button up towards the spine, tailbone in towards the belly button. So find those center locks and gates. Long spine, extend your arms, look down towards your mat, breathe in, breathe out. One more time, breathe in. On your breath out, send your hips back towards your heels, finding your child's pose, extend your arms, relax your forehead down. Three rounds, full rounds of breath here. Next, inhale, come forward, table, top position. Exhale, send your hips back, find your child's pose. Inhale, come forward, tabletop. Exhale, hips back. Don't let go of your center. We already went through that lifting and pressing. And press back. You're making that connection, breath and movement. Inhale, go forward. Exhale, go back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, tuck the toes under, press the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a couple rounds of breath here. Pressing your heels down to the mat, maybe you move your dog. See, you're noticing how you feel today. What do you need to do? Heels pressing heavy down to the mat, hands are already there, shoulder width apart. You're pressing and pushing the mat away from you. Take a moment to find the shape. Don't let go of your center. You're keeping those, we call it bandas, Center core engage right below your navel, tailbone up. Beautiful. Nice inhale. Exhale, bring your shoulders on top of your wrist. Long spine. Next is a continuation. Don't let it go. Don't drop it. Crown of your head is reaching forward. If this is too much for you, right to start, bring your knees down. Breathe in and out. Press yourself back up again. Downward facing dog. Let's do it again. Inhale, go forward. Find your high plank. Exhale, press back. Remember those fingertips grabbing your mat, even the weight on your hand. Take notice. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. One more inhale. One more exhale. Feeling deeper stretch in the back of your legs. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Baby steps or one this big step. Come all the way to the top of your mat. You're in your forward fold. Knees bent, first time moving around. Maybe your hips side to side. Relax your forehead down. Soften into this shape. Your heart, your chest is touching your thighs. Feel your feet grounded. Lower your tailbone a little bit more and slowly start rising up. Bring your shoulders on top of your hips, kicks on top of your heels. Rise your arms all overhead. Place your palms together. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Samastihiti. Take a moment to feel your collarbones open. Open your heart. Touch it. Rub it through your feet. Through your rounds of Ujjayi breath. Feeling, getting into that body through your breath. Inhale, rise your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Chest twist. Stay here for a moment. Inhale, halfway up, look forward, halfway lengthen. Hands can be on your mat. Ankles, shins are a little bit higher. Long spine, keep that center engaged and slowly on your exhale, release forward fold. Let's do it again. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise up. Arms up, gaze up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, arms up. 
You look up. Exhale, forward fold. Go deeper this time. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Keep your center, your bottom doesn't engage. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release, go deeper. Inhale, rise up, gaze up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Do it again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Stay low, keep your left hand grounded. Bend the left knee, right leg stay straight. And start twisting to the right. Open up. Extend your right arm, reach into the sky. Take a moment to feel how your hamstring on the right side starts stretching a little bit deeper. Breathe into the shape. One more inhale. Exhale, release your right hand down. Bend the right knee. Left leg straight. Twist. Gazing, if available to you, towards the fingertips. Feel that middle fingertip aligning with the lower wrist. Beautiful. One more inhale, exhale, release your left hand down. You can bend the knees so keep the knees leg straight. Come halfway up, look forward, long spine. Then your hands on the mat, exhale, step back. High and low push up. We're moving through vinyasa now. Squeezing your elbows in lower. Halfway or all the way down to the belly. Keep the left legs extended, hands by your chest and heart, and start rolling the shoulders blade back as you press the ten toes down in your mat. Start lifting your heart up. Squeeze your core. Lift a little bit more and slowly release. Inhale, come halfway up, or maybe you start having some space to go a little bit deeper and slowly release, feeling your hip bones rounded. This time, inhale, start lifting, third time. Maybe you have space to go straight to your upper dog, extending your arms, soften the shoulders back behind your back, pressing those ten, uh, ten toes down in your mat, thighs away from your mat. Beautiful. Press back, exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in and out, Hold for runs. Heels pressing down, core is engaged. Keep pressing them out away from you. Ujjayi Pranayama. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step it all the way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, face up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's twist to the right. Right leg stay straight. Open up. Exhale, release. Inhale, twist to the left. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step it back. Weight control. Squeeze the elbows in as you lower. Chaturanga. Inhale, top of your feet on the mat. Leave your heart. Cobra over facing dog. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathe it in, feel your palm grounded, grab your mat. You're fully activating your arms. Don't let go. See what areas of your body can be soft. What's engaging? Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step it to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Do it again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, twist to the right. Starting this sequence again. This flow, twist to the left. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step it back. High to low. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. If you're ready, you want to move forward, go for that. If you need work for a more, couple more breaths, take a couple more. Keep pushing back. Long spine, inhale forward. And step it all the way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Gaze up. Exhale, nice. If exhale to fold. Inhale to twist. Exhale, release. Twist, other side. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands on the mat, lower, chaturanga. 
Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful. Starting to feel how your body is starting to get a little bit looser. You're just feeling grateful for whatever your body can do in this moment. Taking care of it. Inhale, look forward. And step it all the way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. One more time. All the way through. Fold and twist. Inhale, open up. Exhale, release and twist to the other side. Beautiful. Finish this sequence. Connecting with your breath. High to low, push up. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, press back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, look forward. And step it all the way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, face up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Sama, sticky, deep. Inhale, chair. You're gonna start bending your knees. Tell when it's moving down. Rise your arms by your ears. Don't let go of your center. Your core is strong. Lifting the pelvic floor, pressing down below your navel, arms extended. Couple rounds of breath here. If you have space, sink a little bit deeper. Soften those shoulders. We tend to reach them up, relax them down. Breathe in, breathe out. Get in the, into your chair a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. You can do this. Allow yourself to find those body sensations and stay connected to your breath. Breathe in, lower a little bit more. Squeeze your belly button in. Beautiful, lower a little bit more. Bring your hands to your heart. When your thighs get almost parallel or parallel to the floor, make a twist. Left elbow outside of the right knee. Put that elbow near your thigh and press to twist a little bit deeper, gazing forward or to the right shoulder. Beautiful. Bring your hands back to center, stay low, twist to the other side. Hold that right elbow on your left knee or thigh and squeeze and twist deeper. Bring your hands back to center, both legs come to straight, reach your arms all overhead. Maybe you add a little back in here, open up your heart towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands on the mat, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Inhale, your right leg lift. See if you can open your hip, I usually tell you to close it. Open up, nice hip opener. Feel that nice stretch in the leg. Beautiful, bring your right leg to straight and step it all the way through. Your back heel goes down. Inhale into your warrior one. Deep in the front knee, arms along your ears. See if you can, if you need help, you can grab your hip bones and see where they're going. Pressing through the back heel, warrior one. One more inhale. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll the shoulders blade back. Use an inhale to open up. Engage towards the sky. And humble warrior. Forehead towards your right ankle. Control. Don't sink into your leg. You're using your core. Keep the right knee bent as you start bringing yourself up. Keep your knee bent. Open up your left hip. Rise your right arm up. Left hand by your leg or maybe behind your back. Reverse work. One more inhale. Feel that nice stretch in the right side of your body. Extend your arm. Awesome. One more inhale. Exhale, both hands comes to the mat. Lower chaturanga. You can keep your right leg straight for a little bit more challenge. Lower. Inhale. Exhale, press back. Inhale, the left leg lift. Take a moment to open up, 
to stretch. Maybe you bend the knee, maybe you keep it straight. Nice opening. Close the hip and step your left foot forward. Back heel comes down to the mat. Inhaling warrior one. Same thing, if you need your hands to bring your right hip forward, press into the back heel, core is strong. One more inhale, deep bend in the front knee, exhale, interlace your fingers behind your butt, roll your shoulders, lay back, open your heart, gaze up. Exhale, humble warrior. Take a moment to get into the shape, no rush, keep pressing the back edge of your foot down on the mat. Inhale, come all the way up. Open the right hip, so the back foot adjust. Feel those muscles <coughs> on your legs. Left arm goes up, right hand comes down. Reverse warrior. Beautiful, one more inhale. Exhale, hands on the mat. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step it all the way to the top of your mat. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Bend the knees. Rise your arms up. Ready? Let's do it again. Make a twist. Inhale, bring your hands back to center. Now get low right away. Make a twist. Inhale, both legs straight, arms overhead. Look up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, hands on the mat, step it back, or float it back, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, press back, downward facing. Inhale, the right leg lift. Exhale, right foot forward, back heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, humble warrior, take your time. You may need that inhale to come up. Exhale, to fold. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep your core squeezing in, lower chatter up. High to low push. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, press back, downward facing. Inhale, the left leg lift. Exhale, bring the left foot forward, back heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, interlace, open up, exhale, fold. Moving those hands behind your back, over your back, so you stretch deeper those shoulders, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe in, out. Breathe in, breathe out. Take notice, this is a breathing practice. Keep your arms straight, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step it all the way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, turn. One more time. Keep your breath guiding you. Inhale, come back to center. You don't have to be on my pace. If you know where to go, extend your arms all overhead. Maybe you take longer breaths. Maybe you take shorter breaths. Halfway up. Exhale, hands on the mat. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, press back. Downward facing. Inhale, the right leg lift. We're moving through three shapes, guys. Step through, back heel down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, interlace. Take your time to roll the shoulders, lay back and open your heart to humble warrior. Hands away from your bottom, come all the way up, standing, knee bend, rise up, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands on the mat, lower chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, press back. Other side, left leg. Exhale, step through, back heel down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, inhale, to roll back and open. Press through the back foot, humble. Keep pressing through the back foot. Find your engagement in your core. Reach back, reverse. Chaturanga, high low push up. You're doing it. 
press back. You're finding rhythm. You're getting into your body, warming that body up. You still in your Ujjayi Pranayama. Remember, go straight in the back of your throat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step it or float it. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, keep moving. Make a twist. Inhale, center. Make a deeper twist. Inhale, back bend. Up. Great pull. Halfway lengthen. Vinyasa through. This is you moving. This is your own experience. We're here together. We're all experiencing different sensations rise up. You find your humble warrior. Follow your breath. Your reverse warrior. And then your vinyasa. This is your right side. Maybe you're already on the left, and that's fine. Left side. Lift the leg and step it through for your warrior one. Humble warrior. Feel that openness and then fold with control. Coming up to your reverse. Feel your body, you guys. Lower vinyasa. Press back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, come forward. Find your plank. Exhale, bring your knees down to the mat. Send your hips back. Find your child's pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now, getting deeper into your body, just take a moment to notice how you're feeling. Notice the rhythm of your breath and see if you can bring it down. Go back to that Ujjayi breath that is guiding you. If you're practicing Ujjayi, if not, you're doing your natural breath, fully aware. Come forward to a tabletop. Tuck the toes under, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Step your right foot forward, all the way between your hands. That's it, take a moment here now. Your right hand comes inside of your right foot. See if you can let the hips, let your left hip come lower. You have a space, bring your elbows down. Find the lizard pose. Nice deep stretch. Morning stretch. Feels good. If you need, you can bring the left knee up, down. And if you have a space, you can let the right knee open up. Open those hips a little bit deeper. Whatever you are at, it's all good. If you let the right knee move out, slowly close it. Right hand comes out of your right foot. Step it back, downward facing up. Other side, step the left foot forward. That's it. Find a nice low lunge. Now bring the left hand inside of the left foot. Letting the hips sink into it. Starting to open deeper. You can keep your legs straight. And if you have a space, you can let the left knee fall to the side. You can bring the right knee down. Taking a moment here. If you have a space, bring your elbows up. Nice deeper stretch. Your choice. Nice opening, stretching. Bring the left hand outside of the right foot. Press back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Exhale. Step your right foot forward in between your hands. This time keep your back heel lifted. Inhale, come all the way up to standing and plant the back heel. Kind of what we did before, but this time you're going to spread your right leg, grab the right wrist with the left hand and come all the way to standing. This is a sky archer pose. Both legs are straight, you're reaching back. If you need assistance from yourself, your hands, you grab your hip bones, feel that lateral opening, 
and then find that lateral movement of your spine, pressing through your feet. Beautiful. Exhale, extend your arms to a T, reach forward, and then right hand comes down, left arm goes up. Triangle pose, Trikonasana. Both legs are straight, you're keeping your center engaged, you're not drowning into it. Long spine, you can use your hand and put it on your shin if you need assistance, or you can go all the way down, whatever your body allows you to do. Inhale, come back to standing, close your right toes, to look at the side of your mat, a long side your mat, wide standings, nice inhale, you can reach your arms all overhead, exhale, take a forward fold, gaze behind. Inhale, come halfway up, long spine, take notice of the weight on your feet, maybe you shift a little bit forward to stretch deeper, exhale, fold, use your core. Inhale, come halfway up. Same shape. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, third time, come all the way up to standing. Heels comes in, knees goes out, arms overhead. And now, open your arms, palms face up, bend the knees. Keep your core, your center engaged. Squeeze and lower as far as you can go. Keep your palms facing up and see if you can feel that expansion in your heart. Be careful, if you bring your tailbone out, you wanna keep it all under the crown of your head. Or you're moving in that direction, just be aware. Maybe you can place your hands under center and find that alignment. Inhale, come to, to stand in, and slowly carve your hands to the front of your mat to lower chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, press back. Downward face. Ready? Nice inhale. You can lift the leg or just step through. Left foot face moving forward. Back heel comes down as you start stretching your. I'm going to move to the other side. Stretch your left leg. We're starting with sky archer pose. Gazing up. That's it. Feel that lateral movement of your spine. Maybe use your, your, your hands. Maybe not. Start extending your arms and reach towards the side of your mat, lower to your trikonasana. Open your core bones, feel that expansion. Keep your core engaged and strong. Maybe you gaze towards the right fingertips. Beautiful. Feel it, get into it. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Left heels comes in, extend your arms and ground through your feet. You might lift your arms up. Exhale, take your forward fold, deeper stretch. Inhale, come halfway up. Long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Third time, we're moving all the way up to standing. All the way up, arms overhead, heels comes in. Bend the knees, palms face up. Maybe you can open your heart. See how that feels. Tell the remember, it's coming in, not up. So find your center. Bring yourself all the way up to standing, carry with your hands to the front of the mat, lower vinyasa. Inhale, lift the heart, and then press back, downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step it all the way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up and fold and rise. Let's do it again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands on the mat, step it back, lower, tail up. Moving into this sequence again. Press back. Step the right foot forward, back heel down, inhale into your sky archer. Exhale into your triangle pose. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Close your big toes and then fold. Come halfway up and fold again. Inhale, halfway up. Maybe you can do this at your own pace, couple rounds. When you're ready, reach your arms all overhead. 
heels come in to lower. You want a little bit more, you can go up and down, let's do it three times. Up and down, up and carry your hands to the front of the mat. High low. Inhale, lift and press back. Inhale, look forward. Sorry, left leg. Pull to the left. Both sides. Step through. Come all the way to standing. Sky archer. Triangle pose as your exhale. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Toes in and forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. And fold. Go deeper. Come on. Halfway up. Fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Heels in, arms up. Bend the knees lower. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Lower up. Vinyasa through. Let's do this all the way. One more time. Step your right. Sorry guys. Take a couple rounds of breath. We're gonna move. Draw all the way to the top of your mat. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, step it all the way to the top. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, ready. Last sequence, all together, take a forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step it back lower, chaturanga. You wanna skip your vinyasas. Let's be downward facing. Step the right foot forward. Back heel down, come all the way up to standing. Triangle pose, standing poses. Inhale to stand up, arms overhead, forward fold, toes, toes pointing forward. Inhale up, long spine, you're warmer now. Take it into your body. Maybe you go more time than I'm doing it. And then you feel like rising up and find your that Buddha spot. Palms facing up and close. Can you go lower? If you want more, you can lower and bring your heels up. You have choices to amplify. Last time you are with your hands to the mat, lower vinyasa. Lift your heart and press back. Other side, you step through, back heel down, sky archer pose, triangle pose. Coming to standing, toes in, take your forward fold, halfway and then a couple times. Following your breath. This is all about finding guidance in your breath. Arms overhead, heels in to lower and up to lower and up. Lower, maybe your heels up. That's it. Start with your hands to the front of the mat. Chaturanga. Lift the heart. Press back. Downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg lift and step through. That's it. Find a crescent, crescent lunge. So both hips are aligned, arms along your ears, lower the knee down. Just hover it here, breathe through it. Squeeze your core. Come on, don't let go. Hover the mat. You can bring your hands to your hips, keep your arms up. Couple rounds of breath, lower, soften the shoulders. Press yourself up. Press through the heel to stretch the leg. Lower, hover, breathe into it. Squeeze, press up, hands on the mat. Step it back, other side. Bring your foot forward. Keep the back heel lifted, arms up. Press and warrior, find the shape, soften the shoulders. Beautiful. Lower the knee to hover. Now squeeze the center. Crown of your head on top of your tailbone. Yes, you embrace whatever you're moving through in this moment. Go with that. Nice inverse stretch. Hold it and press up. Extend the leg now. See if you can bring the knee to straight again. Finding that launch shape. One more inhale. Exhale, lower. Embrace it. Breathe. Smile. You're here, you're doing it. 
you're lucky. Feel the joy. Extend and lower your hands to the mat. Chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart. And press back. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe in out. Inhale, look forward. And stay. And come all the way down to a seated position. Beautiful. Come to seated. I want to be to the side of the mat. Find your bolso. Knees to your chest. Long spine. Arms by your side. You're looking into that B shape. Hold it here. Breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart. Squeeze the knees in and make a twist. Let the bottom side of the right knee. Open your heart, come to center, and then make a twist. Right elbow outside of the left knee. Come back to center to hover. Extend your arms and leg. Stand and extend. Squeeze the belly button in. Come back up. Hands to your heart center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center, and then hover. Beautiful. Inhale, come up. Do it again. Twist. Center. Twist. Center. Hover. Squeeze. Come on. Come up and twist. Center. Keep squeezing your knees in. Extend the legs. Use your core muscles. Come back up. If you need assistance, bring those knees to your chest again. And do two more rounds. And twist. And center. And hover. Extend your legs. You're controlling these movements. You're following your breath. And set them hover. Find that canoe and just hover it there. Find your canoe. Now squeeze that belly button in. Couple more rounds of breath. We're all in this together. Thank you for joining. I'm so grateful that you're here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now press a little bit more. Squeeze the knees in and press. Feel your lower back stretching down towards the mat. Find that sensation. And right there, extend your legs again. Keep squeezing. So don't let the spine move up. Squeezing, squeezing. Bring the knees, squeeze down. Last time, ready? Lower and squeeze with more awareness. One more inhale. Come back up to sit it. Bend the knees. Bring your knees close to your chest. Wrap your arms around. And relax. Relax your forehead down. Give yourself a nice big hug. That's it. Allow yourself to fully, fully melt. Taking a nice inhale into your nose, side of your mouth, ha, release. Very, very slowly, gentle with yourself. Come into a tabletop position. Slide your right knee towards the right wrist. And extend the left leg to the back of your mat. And we're going to have pigeon pose. So just take a moment to feel your hip bones aligned and center. And when you're ready, slowly walk your hands forward and relax your forehead down. In a moment to settle into the shape, to melt into it, allowing those muscles, tissue, to stretch 
all the things we did in the other in the beginning of the practice to strength to stretch thicker this is to soften and melt Slowly when you're ready, bringing your heart up, walking your hands back, creating some space, put your back toes on there to come to that tabletop. Maybe you want to stretch and send your hips back a little bit to the child's pose. And just shift in to the other side. Left knee forward, right leg goes back. Take a moment to start settling in. If you have space, the foot comes close to the opposite wrist. Everybody's different. See where you find that shape that you can feel the openness. And if for some reason this doesn't work for you, just get into your backs. Let us also do if they be together and open your knees to butterfly up. That's another option. And just settle in. If not, just finding your half pigeon on the other side. Settle into for a moment. Gentle with your body, start pressing your heart up, walking your hands back, tuck the back toes under to create the space to come to that tabletop shape, slowly come into a seated position. Stand both legs to the front of your mat, arms overhead, and slowly forward. Lengthening through your spine. Nice stretch. Slowly bring your heart up. Come seated. Start going, moving all the way down to your butts. Bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a hug. Squeeze your knees in. Release your feet down to the mat, heels close to your glutes, arms by your side, palms facing down. On your next inhale, just press your hips up, press your palms down, open your heart. If you have a space, inhale your fingers behind your back, keep your knees pointing forward, don't open up, squeeze up, press. Higher, higher, nice inhale, exhale, slowly release. Bring the knees to the chest. Give yourself a hug. Spinal twist. Give your knees bend. Open your arms to a T, palms facing down. Let the knees fall to the right side of your mat. Or lift. We're moving to both sides. Twisting. Connecting with your breath. Back to center and very slowly, again gentle with yourself, turn to the other side, keeping your shoulders grounded, turn your gaze towards the right shoulder, this opposite side to make a twist a little bit more different. 
Closing your eyes. Bring your knees back to center. Slowly squeeze your knees in. Last time, hug yourself, maybe. You bring your chin up, maybe not. Release down and extend your legs all the way to the front of your mat. Very slowly. Heels to the corners. Arms by your side. Palms facing up for your final shape. Shavasana. Close your eyes, feel your shoulders lay down in your mat and ground it, melt into it. Take a nice rest. Very, very slowly start bringing back movement to your body. Bring your knees to your chest, give yourself a hug. Roll to the side of your mat and slowly, when you're ready, just start coming back to sit. Let's all finish this morning practice together. Let's share all of the breath. You're ready, seated, and joining me. Inhale, rise your arms up. Place your palms together and bring your hands to your heart center. Close your heart, just take a moment to feel it. Let your chin drop, close your eyes. Bring that ready to touch to this moment. Giving a grateful thought to the world, sending a nice healing thought. We all need that. Sending love, gratitude. Let's spread it out. It's all within. Let's not keep it just for us. I want to thank you all for joining today. Either you were part of the practice, whole practice. It's a blessing for me to be able to share this moment with you. From my heart to yours, namaste.